Hello there once again and be welcome to our edition of Ultimate Masters Cracking Packs. So yeah, as you can see it, my Ultimate Masters box here is prone to being opened. So we've got a package with the numbering from here. It's made in Japan, so quality wise it will be uh, superior like always. I really really like these cards. The packaging itself may be like the Double Masters 22 that we just recently opened where um, yeah we have to see how the setup inside is. To be honest it's always a little bit different. We've got 24 packs plus the box topper that will come last and now let us see with a super sharp box and knife and a little bit more of a foiling than the average so and a little bit more of a cardboard it's knife oh what happened here <laughs> what happened here um yeah okay we've got a box turbo this will stay too late so that you can see we've got our three pillars like always and we will start on the left side so, zoom into a little bit for you guys and girls, whoever is watching this. Let us open and have fun with our pulls. Oh, yep. Okay. So, it should be one ooze, one foil, and the rare that is coming afterwards. So, we've got some in March Angel, some uncommons, and the comments afterwards. I'm not really in the knowledge what is good on the side from the, all the packs that are inside. I know that there is an anger, for example, on the uncommon slot that may be valuable. So we've got a zombie, Garna, Marcus of the Bazaar. The Bogle is nice, for example. We've got Artist Son of Kozlik is nice. So this set is really deep into the uh, into the reanimation theme. So graveyard, reanimation, recurring, and so on. Like double masters with the artifacts. For double masters 22, I don't even know what the topic was. So well, oh nice. We've got a Tarmi, Tarmogoyf, the old one, the original one. Golgari Charm is nice. Frantic Search is an old one. Groundskeeper, Eel Umbra, Faithless Looting. The looters always come and go, come and go. I think it's a nice setup that we can acquire here. We've got an elemental. Beak back in apparition. Staring world with one of the lands. Facility is a fun card. Have already played with this for, uh, on several occasions and it's it makes the rounds rather fast. Exalted Grot. That's nice. The vent or oh, Tarmi. Unfortunately, he had also a little bit of a drop recently because all the reprints and yeah, it got oh nice foil gamble. It's a fun thing. Golgari Grave Tour, Dreamscape, Malevolent Whispers for everything like the Machisa decks. Just just get it, just get it over with, and fire up with a reckless charge. Then it's a fun thing. Attack, get a counter, sacrifice, and get it back. It's a good plan, I think. Wall of Reference, we've got a Redescent, Penumbra Worm, Dogmas Salvage is a good one, Fury Temper, Ether Snipe, Kodama's Reach, always good one. So, and we still have two to go on the first pillar. So, let's see, we've got a zombie, Circular Logic, another altar. We've got uh, already one in the DM22, and this one is always nice to see. Thermal Expanse, the Twins, Defy Gravity. Unfortunately, as far as I know, we didn't see any of the cards uh, that are unlimited in numbering, uh, like the Shadow Bone Apostle inside the set. But well, it's uh, still a very cool, very nice set. Wild Mongrel, we've got a Ruined Halo, Shriekmaw. That's a nice one. Bore Umbra, Treasure Cruise is a good play. I think it was banned, not directly recently, but in a in a later time, I think last year or so. So first pillar is through. We are on the second one. 
and they are also once again a little bit easier to rip and to open. I've got a Citizen, Foil Treasure Cruise, nice. Um, Creeping Tarpet is a good one, one of the lands. I've got a Brawn, this one, Trample. Interesting, in your graveyard. Ah, Haste was for the, for the Anger, I think. So everything is good. Shielding Plex, I think it's a nice one. Can play with it rather well. Phyrexian Altar, I really like it. It's one of the evil cards for uh, combinations. Temporal Ventilation, very nice. We can play with that. Matering Network, Forbidden Alchemy. Frantic Search. God's willing, yeah, is God willing? I don't really know, I don't know whether he, she, it exists, what kind, and so on. I think uh, I may be called an agnostic. Lava Clory, just the next land in the cycle of these lands inside here. And this just chosen, Angel of Despair. Angel of Despair was recently dropped in the um, uh, standard showdown Olamox Crusher. So, also a rather interesting card. Also always fun if they are changing the rarities of these cards. Then I've got a Fairy Rogue. For a Bitter Blossom it was, I know, really. So, a Brawn once again, we've got Flexions of Takao. Furnace Celebration, that's also a fun card. But you have to pay, so it's not really prone for all the good ones, uh, for all the good uh, combination games. But still, it works. You can still play rather well with these. So, we've got Spark Elemental, Generator. Through the Breach. Wait, put a creature from your hand on your character. Okay, interesting. This one is for uh, Obika decks. Hipdal, Hero of Lena Tower. Didn't even know that. Oh, foil and non foil. <laughs> Good. Faithless Looting is also a rather played card. And still, you have to go with the flow. Ah, theoretically. Man, I really like the Japanese cards. They have such a velvety, nice touch to them. They are simply superior. Can't say it anything else. Um, and Tomp, that's a good one. Goldsteed, Stitch in Time, we've got a Walker, Conviction, and, uh, and some other stuff. So, let us see. These boxes are currently running for 300 euro. Thespian Stage is a nice one. Unfortunately, I don't think we will ever reach the value of this with opening, but still, it doesn't matter. It's also a little fun time off for you or for me, and we will have a little bit of fun with this. Glenelander Archmage is a good one. Appetite for Brains, a young Pyro once again. Fury Temper, Kodama's Reach, if you want it, and a Mule. Okay, this was the second pillar of cards. Interesting little stuff here. So, last batch, and then comes the box topper. Okay, interestingly enough, this one has a markdown, it seems. Full through here. Interesting. Oh well. And here it is, we've got a Citizen, Shielding Plux, Platinum Empyrean, this one is a really, really evil card to play against, Chainous Edict. Fun little cards. Platinum Empyrean, cop coupled with Dark Steel uh, Forge, I think it was, and you're pretty much gone with the game, or rather all the other ones. Prentice Necromancer, Bridge from Below, I think there are combinations for that. Here's the anger that I meant. Treasure Cruise. Stitched Drake that we have here. The Root Baller. The uh, Root Waller. <laughs> really cool. Really cool. Animal. The Root Waller. If it get its neck up and running, it's a sight to behold. Modern Elemental. Frantic Search. Oh, nice. Ancient Tomb. This one is one of the. I think it's still the most expensive hits that you can get inside here. So, very nice, I like it. Go to the range assistant, prey upon, and a little bit more stuff. Stuff is always good. So, nice. I'm happy about the ancient tomb right now. This one is good. I've got a worm, 
Fulminator Mage, Fjordring Phoenix, Just in the Wind, Moan to the Unhallowed. Moaning is also always good, really like it. <laughs> Moan to me. So yeah, let's go with everything. Let's go with the flow. I've got a spider, ether snipe, a demonic tutor. I think the second or third expensive, uh, most expensive card of the set. And a nice, nice sleight of hand. I've got fume spider, crow, and a current crusader. Okay, we can play with that. Three to go, three to go. So the countdown is running down and out. So I've got a Humanunculus, Soul's Fire, another Gamble, Number Worm, Blast of Genius, it's here, think twice. And a Molten Birth. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Interesting, nice little pack that we have here. I've got a Noose, a Noble Hierarch. This one is also good. Counter Squall, not Counter Spell. Got a Blazing Scourge and Unburial Rites, Catholion and stuff. So, last pack before the box topper. So, let's see, we've got Spirit, Phalanx Leader, Raya, Dawnbringer and Eternal Witness. So, that's a Frantic Search that we have here, Relentless Charge and a Thermo Alchemist. So let's see what is inside this nice little box in the uh, package in here. Because these are the much highly thought after cards that are mostly still not available as full art anywhere else and thus are highly in demand. Nice. Okay, this is this is really good. Full art mana vault as, as the box topper in foil. I know it was reprinted in the other art, but this art is still way superior and way more rare. So this is nice. That's a good, nice little pull that we have here. So let's see once again. We've got a mana vault, noble hierarch, gamble, demonic tutor with an ancient tomb, which from below is it? We've got a platinum empyrean. Clan Large Mage, Thespian Stage and Tomb, Through the Breach, a Manipulation, and a, yeah, Frexen Altar with a Gamble on top of a Tamagolf. And the rest are some small cards. Still, it was a really, really nice pull. So the, the Mana Vault in this uh, uh, art, really, really like it. So, thanks for watching and have a good time.